Hi, I'm going to show you how to run RStudio on Rackham. I used the Upmax documentation, Rackham is an Upmax cluster. Um, and I'm going to follow these steps. We need to get within SUNET. Uh, let's see if we really need that. Um, or I'm already in SUNET. Then we need to start the Rackham remote desktop environment. And there are two. Uh, you can use the website or you can use a local ThinLink client. It's documented over there. I'm going to use the, the website because it's easiest to set up. Uh, whereas the ThinLink client locally, the local ThinLink client is quicker, but I'm not going to do that. So the website is at rackcam.ue.upmax.uu.se. And for that, I need to give my, make it a bit bigger, my Upmax username, my Upmax password. And two-factor authentication. So for that, I need to look at my mobile phone for my two-factor authenticator app. I look for the key called Richel at Upmax. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna there, Richel Upmax, 908007, enter. And now I'm logged in to the remote desktop of Rackham. Uh, it uses ThinLink in the back. Uh, yeah, there, uh, there it is. Now I am on Rackham remote desktop. Let's go back to the procedures again. Start an interactive session. All right, so I'm just going to copy paste this thing. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is one of my project. Probably not. I need to start a terminal to have an interactive session. Let's do it. Yep. There, I'm res there. I'm going to paste this text in the clipboard. Clipboard. There. And now I can actually use it in this terminal, Control shift v um, And this probably needs to be something else. So I'm going to use staff, but you have your own project. And in this way, I start an interactive session on the staff account. If you do, for example, do the Upmax introduction course, you have that project. Um, I'm going to run it for eight hours. And we're going to use two cores, as is recommended to run our studio. It's quite a big program. So let's see what happens. Yeah, because it always takes a bit of time to get an interactive node assigned to you, especially when it's busy and during working hours. So it takes a bit of time, but there we have it. I get node. I get node 482. That's great. What is the next step? So we have an interactive session now. Load the modules needed. I'm just going to copy paste this. I think that's good enough. Oh, wrong program. There. Going to paste it in the clipboard here. There. And now it's in the clipboard. I can use Ctrl Shift V to paste it. And now I have our studio uh, enabled. Apparently not. Apparently now I need to do this. So let's do that. Ctrl Shift C, Ctrl Shift V. Prefers to use. We do not enable unless we disable during startup by the fact you may not. Like, So what does that mean? Can I just use our studio still? Let's take a look what happens. Maybe there's nothing to worry about. Well, apparently there is nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, uh, close it. Let's see if we can run a file. Let's take a look and make, uh, make a file called uh, that says hello to double check if it works. I'm going to run a new file called an R script. It says hello. Hello. With Ctrl Enter, I can run it. And yes, this seems to work. So, this scary warning um, had no problem at all. Let's see. Start R Studio. I did that. And that means I am done. I have done it. So, with that. I've showed you how to start our studio on Rackham. I wish you a very good day. Bye.